Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Memaki's Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. My name is Hugo Gonzalez, and today I'll be showing you how to use jig print function on Memaki's Rashlink 6 Plus. The application I've designed for this demonstration is a set of customizable clear coasters. As I mentioned, I'll be using Rashlink 6 Plus to print on the UJF 6042 Mark II with LUS120 ink. I've designed the image on Adobe Illustrator, and they've used InDesign to create customized variations. And thank you to our partners at Acrylite for providing the substrate. I'm not gonna go too far into detail as to how I created the artwork because I would need more time than we have. Here's the overall design for the snow globe image. Once the graphics were completed, I began to separate or copy elements that would correspond to each coaster. I then moved each coaster art to their own file. In there, I duplicated the layer to work on the necessary components. I created a custom white layer for each by joining all of the graphics that would require backing. Comparing the images, you can see that the objects in the scene will be backed, but the background coloring will not, you know, because I want to maintain as much translucent space as possible. It's important to mention that the white layer is not CMYK art. Since I'll be performing a monocolor replacement, I prefer to use grayscale. If you want to know more about how to create special color layers, for this example white, you can review last month's tips, tricks, and techniques on creating special color plates. The videos are located on our resources page on our website. With the main design completed, I can now bring the top image into InDesign to create the customized portion. I'm using InDesign, but this isn't a requirement. You may have access to other software that can merge variable data. The important part is that it creates a multi-page PDF or a single layer artwork of the same dimensions. First, I design what I want the customized portion to look like, in this case, the names. And then I'll perform a data merge to swap my template for the names that I linked on an Excel file. For more information on performing the data merge, you can visit InDesign's user guide on their website. Now that I have my file, I'll be moving on to the printer. First, I'm going to load the images for the main part of the coaster into Rashlink. When working with layered images, the first thing I like to do is combine them to reduce repeated tasks. In this case, I'll also use a range function because it'll allow me to change the profile and color settings for all of the layers at the same time. I'm going to be using UV PET profile. It's a personal preference because it's a profile that I'm most familiar with and I tend to use it for many materials. I'm also going to use my default color matching with Adobe 1998 and Grey Call 2006. I like to use these because they have the largest gamuts for their respective color spaces. Now that all the images have the same profile and color information, I'm going to release the arrangement so that I can do a monocolor replacement on each of the white layers.
With all the white layers changed, put them back in arrangement before going into the jig layout. Select the jig print menu and then check the jig print box. There are a few sample layouts in here, but if it's the first time printing an item, it's best to create your own virtual jig. In case you already have a jig you're working with, I'll quickly review what the numbers are measuring. Jigs are typically created to the size of the table, so the default size is your printer's table size. Position refers to the jig corner in relation to the table, which will typically sit at the origin or 00. zero. Deskew gives you the ability to rotate the jig if necessary, pivoting from the origin. Material is of course the size of your substrate, but more specifically, the dimensions of the opening where your material will sit. Counts refers to the columns and rows that you have on your jig. Interval pitch is the distance between the like or the same corner of each item. It'll be the opening size plus the gap to the next opening. First position refers to the distance of the bottom right corner of the very first position from the origin. Layout aligns your artwork in reference to each placement. And lastly, adjustment allows you to modify individual placements on your jig. I'll show you how this works shortly. So for my application, I don't already have a jig made. I will be creating a virtual jig, which will be printing onto a vinyl sheet on the table. This gives me the flexibility of testing materials and the concept without committing to, you know, making a jig or buying one at this point. Once the jig layout is created, I can select this icon here, which is the print jig outline, which is aptly named, it'll print the layout. It'll give you the option to print or save. Print will print immediately onto the table and save will create a PDF that you can import back into Illustrator if you want. I'm gonna select print. I'm going to stop the print a little early uh, since I'm, I'm only going to be needing the first couple of rows for this demonstration. Once it's printed, I'll place a row of coasters. I decided I'm printing only the four images of the main body of, of the set. I'm doing this because the first coaster the, or the top coaster will be the customized portion that I'm going to print next. As you can see, I'm not taping down the substrate. The table moves smoothly enough that you don't need it. But if Mackenzie were here, these would be taped down to add glitter effects. I'm sorry, I mean double glitter. For the personalized coasters, I'm gonna open the multi-page PDF that we created in InDesign. I'm also going to open the white layer and the backing of the first coaster, which is the same for all the customized coasters. We're going to set these up a little differently because we're working with a multi-page PDF for the customized portion, as opposed to a single repeated image. However, for this backing, we are going to create copies because it's going to be repeated across all of the customized coasters. I'll take this opportunity to show you how you can edit a single position. In this case, I'll exclude the fifth position and the image location will simply be skipped. For the multi-page PDF, all you have to do is select a profile and then go directly to jig print. If you, if you do exclude any locations like I did, remember to lay out the substrate in the same positions as your file. So since this is a second surface image, we want the name to be printed first. So I can rip and print the customized layer file and then immediately rip and print the backing image since they're gonna print right on top of each other.
Here's how the final prints look. For those of you who were wondering why there were blank circles in my designs, here it is, easy targets for the rubber coaster feet. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to ask any questions you may have.